Good morning, world. <laughs> I get asked a lot about staying safe on the road as a solo traveler, female, and I haven't done one in a while, so there's actually things you keep learning. So I've been traveling by myself for 12 years and in a variety of different situations. Right now I'm filming from my guest house in Oaxaca City in Mexico. And let's start there. Um, you can choose to do a lot of different things, live in a van, travel the world, stay in guest houses, rent homes, um, camp. I've done all those. And they all have advantages, but I'll tell you one thing. Living, um, I've been here for almost a month, and I really like this family. They have a huge guest house, and I'm one of the only guests. There's one other person, and it's so much like a house. They give me my privacy. I have my own room. The share bathroom is pretty much not used by anyone else but me. And one advantage of finding a situation like this is that someone kind of knows where you are. <laughs> it's in the location. I mean, they don't know where exactly I am all the time, but I see them morning and night and throughout the day, even with my privacy. But if I wanted them to know, I could tell them exactly where I am. Now, another thing you can do is have location. Um, like I have live stream with my son in California. So he knows where I am and I know where he is because um, it says right in the app. And I recommend that because uh, that can help. So that's a new thing that I wasn't doing a year ago. And I like that feature. You can be very strategic about traveling by yourself. Like one thing I've learned in all these different, I've traveled by myself in 35 countries and lived in quite a few of them, renting houses, um, working. And I would say that there's things you can do to not be obvious, like, um, yeah, I have stayed overnight in Walmart parking lots in my van, but you can't put out chairs and start cooking dinner. <laughs> it's best, if it's okay to do that, to show up later and, um, and kind of slide in there when it's dark. And don't get out of your vehicle and don't get back in because you're calling attention to yourself and connecting yourself with the car. Um, so that's what I do. I don't, I don't get out and I show up in the dark. Um, so that's for that situation, which I'm not doing right now, but I do have a van and I like it. Um, and so the whole van thing, I do it as a choice. Um, I could rent an apartment, but I choose to invest my money instead um, and make it grow. So a lot of people um, do it for monetary reasons and whatever your personal reasons, it's fine, of course. Um, but there's ways to keep yourself more um, safe than sorry. One of the most important things is, is trusting your gut. If you have a weird feeling about something, and this has happened to me, um, get out of there. You don't need anything else. Um, get in the driver's seat if you're in a van and leave. And you know, it can even happen in a guest house or a hotel as well if you don't like the feeling you get. So that's the thing. You know, it's funny. Um, I remember years ago, people going, oh, aren't you scared that there's some like rapist loose in the city? This is when I was renting an apartment in Syracuse, I think, New York, where I was born. And um, I said, no, because, <laughs> you know, safety is very relative. Um, the, I got broken into once, which I haven't talked about, um, and I don't need to give the details here, and it was, 
um, not a pretty thing at all. Um, and I wasn't, I was renting um, in an RV park. They had the trailer, the RV and, and so, you know, you don't know if you keep yourself safe and do certain things, you're going to be okay, pretty likely. Um, and I just saw a video that said to keep, you know, weapons on hand. I didn't even think about that. I mean, I'm not going to say exactly what, but <laughs> I'm going to do that now <laughs> because and know how to use them. Um, it's really a mindset. Um, like when I'm in a place that I don't know, I'm not going to be on the phone walking down the street not paying attention. I don't do that. If I'm going to have a phone call, I'm going to be doing it in privacy. I'm not going to be seen as somebody talking and walking and not paying attention because there's no way you're really going to pay attention to your surroundings. It really comes down to awareness. Um, oh, and I just got another good tip. Um, have something that makes a lot of noise. That's something I didn't think about, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I used to have a police whistle, and I think I'll get one again. Maybe I should get some bear spray too. So, you know, you just keep learning, but you can't define your life by fear, because you're gonna miss out on a lot of good stuff. But, on the other hand, um, you have to go into it with intelligence and awareness and your mindset being in the right place, because you could end up in a bad situation because you didn't pay attention to a feeling that you had in your gut that this wasn't the right place to be. I mean, I've had that about hotels. I've had that about renting houses. One time I was trying to rent a house in Guatemala. I did end up with a really nice house on the lake, Lake Atitlan in Guatemala. But I looked at about 15 or 20 houses and I didn't have a good feeling about any of those. And then if you press the people to ask about the security of it, you're going to be able to tell by their face right away. Um, there was this one that I was considering taking and I didn't have a good feeling about it. And just even the walk up the hill to get to the place, I thought, I'm not going to be able to walk up this place in the dark with no light. So that's not going to work. So it's like every step of the way. Do you feel comfortable going to that place in the dark? Um, like actually at first, the place I'm staying now, uh, the first time I went out at night, I was a little bit, but now I feel like this is my neighborhood, but I'm still extremely cautious. And I don't actually do that much at night. If I do go to a place to eat, it's usually around the corner and I don't dress provocatively. Um, so this is another thing to think of about how you dress, uh, especially at night. You want to be dressed more like a camper. <laughs> and um, if I think of some other things, please, if you want to subscribe or give your own comments about how you stay safe when you travel by yourself, please do. And if this is helpful to anyone and you share it, that helps me a lot. So I'll see you in the next video. And, and thank you for the questions and the likes and subscribes.